thumbs up. Thanks for that. Good. Okay, so let's get started. We'll just do some warm ups. It's warming up our body. Jilda was telling me she doesn't need to warm up. She's been cleaning her house for three hours. So it's all good. I'm inspired. And bring your arms the other way. Good. Getting nice warmth through the shoulders. Let's give our spine a nice twist. Good job. And then let's inhale, lift our arms all the way up. And exhale, bring our feet nice and wide and forward bend. And we'll just stay here for a few breaths, getting a nice stretch through the back of your legs and through your lower back. Let your head feel full heavy, chest heavy, and swaying from side to side, getting some movement in that forward bending position. Just staying down there. And then move your hands across to your right ankle and shin and point that right foot out to the side a little bit. Give it a nice stretch down that right side. And then take your hands over to the left side, turn the left toes out to the side and nice stretch down the left side of the back, back of the legs. And then we're gonna come down into a position where we're going from side to side. So bending the right knee and straightening out the left and then go to the left. So go left to right, just getting some warming up through the inner thigh. Trying to keep your chest up a little bit as you do this, going from side to side. And then as you inhale, bring your hands all the way back up again. Good. Okay, let's do a couple of stretches. Uh, we'll do a quad stretch first. So you may want to find something to um, steady yourself with. So bring your foot up to your heels to your bottom and bring your knees together so you're getting a nice stretch through the front of your leg. Good. And then we'll swap to the other side. Noticing how your balance is on each side. You may find that you've got better balance on one side than the other. Just bringing those knees together and heel to bottom. Let that leg go down, give them both a shake. We might do some um, stretches through our calf muscles. So a good way to do that is a downward dog. So we'll come down to the mat and we might do a few cat cows first, getting our spine warmed up. So on all fours, with your knees underneath your hips and your hands underneath your shoulders, as you inhale, raise your chest and raise your gaze. So you get a nice curve through your back. And as you exhale, bring your back up towards the ceiling or the sky, and then continue on. So inhale, lifting up, and then exhale the other way. Getting some nice movement through your spine. And deep breathing as you do it. Let's go two more breaths here. And then tuck your toes under and lift your hips up towards the ceiling into a downward dog. Bringing your heels towards the floor and paddling your legs from side to side. So you're getting some nice stretching through your calves and your Achilles. It's good for all of us, but in particular, I know this is a good exercise for, for Jilda, who's got a little injury with her calf and Achilles. Just doing a few more of those. So noticing how that feels down the back of your legs. And then staying in a still position and bringing your heels down towards the ground, bringing your is inside your arms. It's taking a couple of breaths here, noticing how that feels on the back of your legs, your shoulders and your arms. And then coming back down to the mat, bringing your knees nice and wide and sitting back onto your heels. 
And then we're going to walk our hands forward into a child's pose and just feel that nice stretch through the lower back. You can bring your forehead down towards your mat. Just take a couple of breaths here and noticing how that feels on your lower back and your upper back. You also get a little bit of a stretch through the inner thigh on this one. Good. And since we're down on the mat, let's give our lower back a little bit of a uh, massage. So coming onto your bottom with your knees bent, laying back onto your mat. So you're hugging your knees to your chest and taking that round in a circular motion. So you're getting a nice movement on your lumbar spine. I think this cold weather sometimes stiffens our lower back up a little bit. So it's good to give this one a little bit more care. Good. And then coming back up. We'll do a couple of stretches through our shoulders. So coming back to a standing position, just rolling your shoulders in little circles this time. And back the other way. Sit. And then taking your right hand underneath your left elbow and bringing that left elbow across your body so you feel a stretch in your shoulder blade at the back. Just breathing into that one. And then we'll swap to the other side so you have your left hand on your right elbow and draw that elbow across to the left side of your body. Feel that nice stretch there. Good. Okay, now you might want to just grab a quick drink before we start. Now I'm just going to get us set up. So the exercises we're going to do today, we've got, we're starting with shuttle runs. Then we're doing a little bit of boxing, some squats, uh, squats with an overhead press, if, you, if you'd like to do that. Then we're going to do some deadlifts. So I'll give you instruction on the deadlifts because some of you may not have done that before. Uh, cable rows, so you'll need your stretchy band. Then we're going to do some push-ups, so you can do them on the floor or against a wall or a chair. Uh, some side twists, which I'll instruct, some bridges, some shoulder taps in a prone position and some bike crunches. So we might start off with the shuttle runs first, so get yourself a little bit of space. And if you don't have the space, you can always um, do knees up, so so the knees up just like this, or you can be running from side to side. So it's important when you do that, if your back is allowing you to bend down and touch the floor, because it makes a bit of a difference. So we're going to work for 45 seconds and rest for, for 20 seconds. So let's get started. So I've got the clock going. Radio. Okay, let's go. So going from side to side. T touching the ground. It's a good bit of cardio and a good warm up. That's it. Good job. We've got 10 seconds to go. Good. Okay, the next one we're going to do is some boxing. So we start with your dominant foot back. So I'll just show you the side on view. So take your dominant foot back, bring your core on nice and strong. And we're going to do straight punches first. So left to right, right to left. Okay, let's get that going. That's it. So nice and light, keeping your core on strong. So your actual body doesn't move that much. It's all the movement is in your in your arms and your shoulders. Just nice and light and fast. That's it. Left to right, right to left. And deep breathing. We've got 15 seconds to go. So, yeah, so keeping your body nice and tall. 
and nice and stable. Good job. Okay, have a little rest. The next one is an uppercut. So we're going left to right, right to left. So keep your, you keep your chest up. So we've got a little bit of rest, we've got 10 more seconds of rest. So you can give your shoulders a little bit of a stretch and then we'll start on the uppercuts. Radio. Let's go left to right, right to left. So you're keeping your chest up and again, body nice and still. So you've got your core on. Imagine that you um, are punching across up on the, underneath somebody's chin. So give it a bit of, bit of oomph. That's it, nice and fast. We've got 20 seconds to go. There's actually quite a lot of cardio in this one. A lot of movement. Keep it strong, we've got nine seconds. That's it, good work. Okay, and rest. Your shoulders are rest again. Okay, next one we're gonna do hooks. So you come through with your shoulders, elbow, wrist, all at the same level, all at that shoulder level. So your arms are higher. There's a bit more taxing. So we're gonna do 20 seconds of that and 25 seconds of knees up. I'll tell you when to change. Okay, let's go. So we've got hooks, keeping those elbows nice and high. Keep your body still. And deep breathing. Oh, some good punches swing in there, ladies. That's it, and the elbows are nice and high. I can see it. Radio. now we're gonna change the knees up. So bring them up nice and high. That's it, good job. Good work, okay, so that's the boxing done. Give your shoulders a little, um, just a little bit of a movement. Now next one is a squat and you can do an overhead press if you like. So I'll just show you, so keeping the weight close to your body and go all the way up. You don't have to do the press, you can just do the squat if you like. That's it. Anyone with any high blood pressure or any shoulder injuries might want to only do the squat. When we do anything above our head, it's quite taxing, so we don't go too heavy on the weights on this one. Just taking your time, breathing in as you go down and breathe out as you come up. It's got your pace. This one's quite hard as well. Good work. Four, three, two, one. Well done. I'll show you the next one and I'll show you side on. So feet hip width apart and you've got your weight in your hand and you're going to um, fold forward, bring that weight quite close to your legs, to your shins. Use your bottom, press and come up. So you're going down, back's fairly straight. And then use the power of your bottom to put your hips forward and squeeze your bottom. This is one you can actually go a little bit heavier, but I'm okay if you take it light today because it's not something that we do a lot of. So you're just folding forward, squeeze your bottom, hips forward. So this one's working your glutes and the back of your legs. So if you have any knee issues or anything, this one shouldn't um, bother you. But the main thing is to just follow that weight, hands pretty much down your leg, tracking down your leg, and breathe out and squeeze your bottom as you come up. You're probably starting to feel it in your butt now. Good job. Okay, next one's cable row. So grabbing your cable, your stretchy band. If you don't have a stretchy band, you can just do like cactus arms and squeeze between your shoulder blades. But if you do have a band, have it ready, chest up, dominant foot back, and squeeze towards your body, squeezing your shoulders together. Inhale as your arms go forward and exhale as they come back. And really squeezing through the upper part of your shoulder blades 
going at your own pace, keeping the body nice and still. All the movement is in your arms and your shoulders. That's it, good job ladies. Keep it going, 15 seconds to go. Good work. Okay, let your band go. Right, now we're quick change to the floor. We're gonna do push-ups next, or you can do them against the wall or against the table. I'm gonna do them on the mat, have my hands just on the outside of the mat. A nice straight line from my shoulders to knees. And we're coming down to the mat. So since we're going for 45 seconds, knees is quite hard enough. And don't forget, you can do it against the wall or against the table. It's working through the chest and the arms. Breathe in as you go down and breathe out as you push out. Good work, 10 seconds to go. Good work. Okay, next one we're gonna do is a side twist. So just change my angle so you can see. So you can be on your knees or your, or your toes, bring your hand towards the middle of the mat, lift up the arm and follow it with your eyes and then go to the other side. So you can try it on your knees or your toes. If you're doing it on your toes, have your feet nice and wide you'll be more stable and bring the hand back to the middle of the mat. So this one is a little bit challenging, but it's a good twist through your back. Good for your arms, good for your core. It's got your own pace. Remember, you can always have a rest at any point. Maybe just go into child's pose, stretch it out. We've got 10 seconds to go. Good work. Okay, next one, going onto your back into a bridge position. So laying on your back with your knees bent and having your hands beside you, feet nice and close to your buttocks. And as you inhale, I want you to lift your hips, squeeze your bottom and bring your arms over. As you exhale, slowly lowering down vertebrae by vertebrae and bring your arms with you. And just keep going with that. Good job. So as you inhale and lift through your hips, bring your buttocks as high as you can and really squeeze them. Slowly lowering your spine down, bring your arms with it. And then inhale back up again. Good work. Exhale on the way down. Really squeeze that bottom and lift the hips as high as you can. Nice work. Okay, switching back to the front again. This time we're gonna do shoulder taps. So you can do this in a plank position. So you can go on your knees or your toes and we're just tapping shoulder to shoulder like that. So it's up to you which one you decide to do. I think I'll do toes. If you have your feet a little wider, you'll be a little bit more stable, or you have your knees a little wider. So this is working core, working arms. 20 seconds to go. If you're on your toes and you want to switch to your knees, go right ahead. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Okay, the last one in the series is the bike crunches. So I'll just move my mat around. So on your back, 
you can have your feet on the ground, fingertips behind your head and lift your elbow to your knee on alternate side. So lift elbow to right knee. If you want to make it a bit harder, you can take your feet off the ground. But you choose which one is the right one for you. Whichever way, just keep it nice and tidy. Being careful not to strain your neck. So you just have a couple, have your fingertips behind your head. Breathing out as you bring your elbow to your knee. Deep breathing all the way. So this one's working your upper and your lower abs. Good work. Okay, you're done. Hug your knees up to your chest. Roll that around. That's round one. Stopping session. Okay. I'm going to just take you off mute for a sec so we can see how everyone's going. Grab yourself a quick drink. How's everyone going with that? Yeah, good. 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 I can't Excellent. breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe. I know. It's pretty hard. Oh, Jenny. Oh, How are you going, Jan? Hard, Jenny. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> Good on you. And what about you, Leslie? How are you going? You all right? Excellent. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. So everyone grab a quick drink and then we're going to start from the top. I'll put you all on mute again. Okay, so we're starting with the shuttle runs. Rightio, let's go. Don't forget to tip, top, tip the floor. This makes it that much more challenging. I've got Molly here watching me, making sure that I do it properly. She thinks I've gone mad. 15 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so we're gonna go on to the boxing now. Getting a bit hot for this top. So we're gonna start with the straight punches. Okay, get down to business now. So take your dominant foot back, core nice and strong, chest up, left to right, right to left, straight punches. So it's a nice, nice clean, quick punches. Deep breathing, chest up, and keeping that body nice and still with a good core. Good job, everyone. Nice and fast. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, rolling your shoulders through, just giving some movement there. Okay, next one is uppercuts. So coming up under the chin. Again, take your dominant foot back, core on nice and strong, chest up. Radio, let's go. Left to right, right to left. That's it, and deep breathing. Good work, so you're nice and stable through the bottom part of your body. All the work's happening from the waist up. That's it, keep it strong and fast. Good work, 10 seconds to go. Finish it off. Five, four, three, two, and one. OK, 
Okay, a bit of movement in your upper body. The next one we're gonna do hooks. So shoulders, elbow, wrists, all at the same height. So we'll do 20 seconds of those, then we'll do 25 seconds of knee up. So you've got five more seconds rest. Okay, let's go. So dominant foot still back, core on, body nice and still, chest up, and deep breathing. So really keep everything up at shoulder level. Good work, 10 more seconds here, then we're gonna change to knees up. This one's a bit harder. Radio, let's go knees up. Bring them up high as you can. That's it, good job. Okay, well done. Right, we're well, on to squats with an overhead press. So grabbing your weight. Okay, getting ready. We've got five more seconds. Bringing the weight up nice and close to your chest. Good, feet nice and wide apart, toes pointing out and pressing it up. So you're squatting all the way down, press up. I was just squat. And remember anyone with blood pressure problems or any shoulder issues, you can just do the squat. It's your choice. Good work. The overhead press makes this a little bit more challenging. Again, anything over your head is, have a higher degree of difficulty. Okay, nice work. The next one we're gonna do is a deadlift. So I'll go side on. So you have your, your feet hit width apart and your Letting the weight roll down your legs, down towards your shins, and then bring your hips forward and squeeze your buttocks as you come up. So it's slow on the way down and explode on the way back up. We're working through the back of our legs and our buttocks. This is called a deadlift. With this one, you can go heavier weights because you're using the big muscles in your legs. That's it, keeping your chest up to your back, having your back nice and straight. Just go nice and slow. The main one with this is getting the right form. So even as you're going down, having your chest up, not looking at the floor, looking in front of you, just so you don't hurt your lower back. Good work. Cable row is next. So pop your weights down. Grab your stretchy band. We've got 10 more seconds rest. So dominant foot back, chest up, core on strong, or you can do the cactus arms and squeeze your shoulder blades. Breathing out as you pull. Good work. Good job. Okay, next one's push-ups. So you can do them against the wall, against the table, or you can come down onto the floor on your knees or your toes, whichever works for you best. Standing up is the easiest one and the hardest one is on the toes. So I'm gonna choose knees for this one. So nice straight line from your shoulders to your knees. Good work. Nice straight spine. So your head is actually gazing straight ahead or straight down at your mat. Nice 
nice aligned spine. Breathe out as you push up and breathe in as you come down. Keeping that core on. We've got 15 seconds to go. Just finish it off. Good work. And you might want to bring that into child's pose. Just give that a little stretch. And the next one is side twist. So I'll just move my mat so you can see. So this one, you can be up on your toes or on your knees. If you're on your knees, have your knees fairly wide apart. Bring your hand towards the middle. Take right arm up, looking at it all the way. And then bring it down steadily. And then lift arm up. So you're getting a nice workout through your core and through your upper back. Just go nice and steady. In inhale as you come up and exhale as you come down. Ten seconds to go. Good work. Well done. Okay, so rolling over onto your back into a bridge position. So you've got your back against the mat, knees bent, feet on the floor. Bring your heels up towards your buttocks. And as you inhale, lifting through the hips, squeeze your butt and bring your arms over the top. As you exhale, slowly lowering the spine down and bring your arms back. Then inhale, lifting as high as you can. Bring your chin and your chest together. Squeeze and then slowly down. Just keep it going. Nice squeeze through the buttocks. We're doing a lot of work with our glutes today, which is good. It's the engine room of our lower body. So just keep it going, finishing it off. Good work. Okay, we're on to shoulder taps. So going into a plank position, you can be on your toes or your knees. And we're going to just touch our hand to our shoulders. Okay, we've got three, two, one, go. So keeping it nice and tidy, keeping your core on. Having your hands pretty much under your shoulders. Take the pressure off your wrists. 30 seconds to go. Keeping your hips forward so you've got a nice straight line from your shoulders to your knees if you're on your knees. Or if you're on your toes, having your feet nice and wide to give you a bit more stability. And deep breathing, don't forget to breathe. Three, two, and one. Good work. Now we're on our backs again for bicycle crunches. So knees bent, feet on the floor. And you can have two options. One option is always keep one foot on the floor, or you can take both feet up. It's up to you. Just keep deep breathing, keep it nice and tidy. Make sure that you don't pull on your neck. So just have the fingertips behind your head. Breathing out as you bring your knees up. Just working upper and lower abs. This one's rather difficult as well. So you're going well, just finishing it off. Keep it nice and strong. Don't forget to breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. And hug your knees up to your chest and just give your lower body a nice massage through the lumbar spine. So that's our second circuit completed. That's 
awesome. You guys are going so well today because it's quite a hard circuit. I'm going to take you off mute and we're going to decide for our third one, we will take a few exercises out. So you can tell me which ones you'd like to take out. Okay, so you can, if there's any that you hate, we'll take a, a couple out. Judah, take out. Which one do you want to have taken out for the last set? Uh, the push up. Push ups, okay. What about you, Jenny? Which one would you like to remove? I was going to say push ups too. Okay, that's okay. So leave it at push ups, two for push ups. What about you, Penny? <laughs> um, okay. Shuttle runs. Shuttle runs, okay, take them out. Okay, Leslie, which one do you want to take out? I can't hear you, Leslie. Can so you just have to unmute yourself. I'll go. I'll come back to you. I'll ask Jan. How did? You, which one do you want to take out? The last one, Jenny. The bike crunches. Okay. Yes. And Elsa, which one do you want to take out? I can't hear Elsa either. Elsa, you might have to unmute yourself. And Leslie, did you come up with one you want out? Which one? Cable row. This one? Cable row. Cable row. That's what I said. Cable row. Okay, she said cable row, radio. Great. What did you say, Elsa? Cable row, that's what I said. Oh, you said cable row. I think Leslie wanted that too. I can't quite hear, but I think that's it. Is that right? Okay, good. Alrighty, so we've got the same set again, except we'll take those ones out. So you All might right. have, have a quick drink. Yeah. I'll put you all on mute again and we'll smash out the last set. Hey, Google, please. Radio. So the first one then is boxing because we don't have any shuttle runs. Starting session. Okay, so right dominant foot back, might be your right or your left. Core on, and we're starting with straight punches. That's it, good job. So chest up, deep breathing. Good job, we've got 30 seconds to go here. Keeping the core on nice and strong, 15 seconds. Go a bit harder if you can. We get less exercises. We've taken out some of the nasty ones. So go a little bit harder on the nice ones. Okay, a little bit of rest. Then we're gonna do uppercuts. Okay, getting ready for that one. Having your dominant leg back, core on, chest up. Five seconds to go and we're gonna come up under from left to right and right to left. Good job. See, yeah, so nice. Let's go hard and fast. Let's work 10% harder than you did last time. That's it, keeping your chest up. Core nice and still, lower body should be quite still. Good work, everyone. 15 seconds to go, finish it off. Five seconds. Good job. Okay, have a little rest, take a breath, give your shoulders a bit of movement, take the tense out of tenseness out of your muscles. Okay, then the last one. We'll do 25 seconds of hooks, so they're all at the shoulder height, and then 20 seconds of knees up. Okay, let's go left to right, right to left. Shoulder, elbows, wrists, all at the same height, chest up. Nice and stable through waist down. All the movements in your arms and shoulders. Chest up and head forward and keep breathing. 
good work. Five more seconds and we're going to knees up. Two, one, let's go. Knees up now, nice and high. Good job. Nice, I can see Jill is doing the high intensity version. Excellent work, keep it up. Okay, rest. Radio, grab your weights. We've got the squats with a press. So when you bring this, the weights, bring it nice and close to your chest so that um, you protect your lower back. So I'll just show you. So you're squatting down and pressing all the way up. Just keep that weight close to your chest so you're not finding yourself falling forward. You've got your chest up nice and tall. We've got 20 more seconds. Breathe in as you go down and breathe out as you come up. Just going at your own pace. If you do need to rest, you're in your own private gym and you can have a rest. Okay, good job. Next one is the deadlift. So if you've got two weights, you can actually grab an extra weight on this one if you want. I might swap it over to these two for a change. So we're going to have our chest up nice and tall and we're gonna slide the weights down our legs, keeping our chest up. So you're feeling it down through the back of your hamstrings. And as you come up, squeeze your butt and bring your hips forward. Your back is nice and aligned, not hunched over. Looking forward, so gaze forward. That'll keep your back nice and straight. Don't want any curves going in the back because I don't want you to irritate your lower back at all. So breathing out as you come up, breathing in as you go down. So you kind of go down slow and explode up a little faster. Good work. Okay. Next one is the side twists. So getting your mat ready down on the mat. These ones are quite challenging. So it's good that you decided not to take them out. Okay, so taking one hand up, look at it all the way to the ceiling. If you're on your knees, have your knees quite wide apart. And if you're on your feet, if you're on your toes, have them wide too, so that you've got a bit more balance. You're gonna keep your body nice and stable and the movement's nice and controlled. So you're inhaling as you lift your arm, follow the hand up all the way with your eyes and all the way back down. Good work, 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Good work. Okay, 20 seconds rest and we're on to bridges. So laying on your back with your knees bent, feet on the floor. You have your heels quite close to your buttocks. Nice, and lift up through the hips, squeeze your bottom, bring your arms over the top and put them on the ground behind your head, slowly lowering it down making sure your heels are nice and close to your buttocks. Up again, squeeze at the top, slowly down. Inhale, coming up. That's it. So you come up as high, high as you can through the hips and bring your chest to your chin. And just keep that going. It's nice movement for your back. And you're working your lower core and your buttocks little bit through the quads as well and hug your knees up just releasing any tension in the back good we've got one to go and that's the shoulder taps so coming back onto your front so you can be on your toes or your knees or you can do a bit of each 
I think I'll start on my toes, but I'll probably uh, on my knees. <laughs> okay, let's go. So just tap left to right, right to left, keeping your body nice and stable. Deep breathing, take your time. This is our last one, so just finish it off at your pace, keeping it nice and strong. Everyone's worked so hard today. 15 seconds to go. Deep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woohoo! Nice work, everyone. Okay. So, you might want to have a quick drink, if, and then we will do some stretches. So, I might just come and ask if there's any particular parts of the body that people would like me to focus on, so that we cover what everybody would like. Okay. Radio. So, Jill, I think you want um, some Achilles type work. Yeah, some my downward dog back as well. Yep. And lower back. Okay. And what about you, Penny? What would you like? Me. Anywhere in particular? Yeah. Oh, Anywhere in particular? Bit of my shoulders a bit tight. Shoulders. Okay. <laughs> Leslie, do you have any particular part that you'd like? You can just show me. I can't hear you, so maybe just show me. Lower back. Lower back. Okay. Jenny. Shoulders for me. Shoulders, okay. Shoulders. Elsa, you can just show me because I can't hear you either. But I can't see. You'll have to stand up or something. I'll come to Jan. Jan, what would you like? Jenny. Which one? Shoulders. Shoulders, okay. And what have you got, Elsa? You, you can show me. I can't hear you. Me? The back. Yeah. Oh, your it's back. That. Okay. Okay, so it's mostly lower back, shoulders, and a bit of around the Achilles. Radio, that's good. I'll just mute you all. Oops. Okay, we might start in a seated position. If you... If you're comfortable kneeling, kneel. If, if you want to sit on a chair, you can. Or sitting on your buttocks, whatever, whatever works for you. We'll do some shoulder rolls. So rolling our shoulders in a reverse clockwise. Feeling all that clunkiness. You might feel a few things moving around there and then take it in the other direction. So sitting in the kneeling position, we're also stretching our quads. So you get a bit of a bonus. And then we're gonna take our arms in big circular movements. Good, and then go the other way. Good. Okay, and then next one, we're going to place our fingertips on our shoulders and we're going to move our elbows in big circles. So going forward to start with, as you bring your elbows forward, see if you can get them to meet at the front. If you've got nice shoulder flexibility, you'll be able to do it. I can't quite get them to meet, but just go do the best you can. So this one gives a really big rotation. And then we'll go back the other way. And again, try to get the elbows to meet in the center. We'll just go two more of these. Really big circles. It's like you're drawing a big circle with your elbow. And from that, we'll go to some neck work because neck and shoulders are always quite connected. So just looking from left to right. That's it. One more on each side. And then gazing up towards the ceiling or the sky and then bring your chin to your chest. Let's go a few more of those. Just feeling that nice stretch through the bottom of your neck. 
and then bringing your hand up on the side of your head and just very gently bring your head across so your ears coming down pointing towards your shoulder and ease it off and then go to the other side so being very gentle with this one and go back to the first side again good and the last one just even it off okay another shoulder one is where you bring your right arm across your body and then have your left hand touch the right elbow and draw that elbow across to the left side having your chest up tall you should feel a nice stretch through the upper part of your shoulder blade and then ease it off and then go again ease it off again and then go to the other side so left hand across your body right hand on the left elbow and bringing drawing that elbow across to the right side ease it off let's do a couple more of those good now we're going to clasp our hands like this behind our back so I'll go side on so you can see it so perhaps you can be either standing or standing on your knees and just as you inhale lift your chest and lift the hands off your buttock, buttocks and then exhale release it all inhale lift your chest lift your gaze and lift your hands from you good and then sitting back down onto your heels and I want you to inhale and let's bow forward and bring your hands up and then exhale release it let's go two more of those so you can do this standing up if you want just bending bowing forward or sitting down okay and just feeling how your shoulders are hopefully that will help now let's move on to some lower back so first one we might do is the cat cow so in a kneeling position with your knees underneath your hips and your hands underneath your uh, your um, shoulders just moving your body in a circular motion just getting that bit of movement through the lower part of your body and around around your back and then we're going to inhale and lift our chest and lift our gaze getting that nice rounded spine through the lower back and then we're going to exhale and wind our back up like a camel towards the ceiling of the sky and just move through those two positions as you breathe this is also working in there giving you a nice stretch through the back of the neck it's quite a good one okay and then we're going to take our knees out to the side and sitting back on our heels buttocks to heels we're going to walk our hands forward so you're getting in a really nice low position and if you can you may be able to get the, your forehead down towards the mat if not you can put your forehead on make a fist and put your head on the fist having some nice deep breaths here you can also bring your hands back towards your feet if you want and go into that position taking some nice deep breaths and just noticing how that feels through the inside and the outside of your legs also through your lower back upper back and shoulders let's go three more deep breaths here and then we're going to walk our hands a little bit forward and we're going to raise our chest and bring our hips forward so we're in like a, a half upward dog and then we're going to tuck our toes under and bring our hands back a little bit and come up lifting our hips into a downward dog and we're going to paddle our heels to the ground like what we did in our warm-up so this one's a good stretch if you've had any injuries around your calves or your Achilles tendon it's also good to help strengthen through your feet you, and you might notice 
a little bit of stretch through the back of your legs, your lower back, your upper back, a little bit, bit of arms as well. And then bring your knees back down to the mat. And we're gonna go onto our back and hug our knees up to our chest. And we're gonna roll around in a circle here, massaging through the lumbar spine. So anyone with lower back, this should feel pretty nice. It's good to do these sorts of things when we are warmed up. So when you go for your walks or when you're out doing your exercise or even after you've had a bath or a shower, it's a good time to do the stretching because your body is warm. Now we're going to hug our knees to our chest as we exhale and inhale as we move our knees away from our chest. Just moving them in and out. This rinses out our spine. Next one, we're gonna do a little twist on our lower back. So you can either have your feet on the ground and twist from there, or if you wanna have a slightly deeper twist, you can have your feet um, off the ground, putting your arms out to the sides. I want you to lower gently your knees towards your right side, but have gaze to your left side. So you gently, gently bringing your knees across to that right side. Just leave them there, have a few breaths. And you should notice a nice stretch through your lower back, your glutes and your left side of your body, a little bit down the side of the upper left leg around the ITB area. Two more breaths here. Then inhale, bring your knees back to center. Looking up at the ceiling. And then I want you to exhale and take your knees to the other side and look to the other side. So knees to the left, Looking to the right, gently let them fall down towards the floor. A few breaths here and notice where your body's feeling this one. Two more breaths. And then back to centre. Now you can grab your either your, your shins or you can grab your feet. And just give that a little bit of a roll around. This is called happy baby pose. Babies love doing this one. Gives you a nice stretch. And then coming up into a seated position. We might just do a couple more lower back stretches. Just move back a bit. Okay, so sitting down with your feet, legs in front of you. Bring your spine up nice and tall. And you should be sitting on your sit bones. We're going to bring our left leg and bend the knee out to the side and have the left foot against the right leg. So it might be against the shin or it might be higher up. If, if your knee's really high, bring it down towards the foot. If you can go a little higher without your knee raising up, that's fine. If your knee is high, you can support it with a pillow or something. So inhale, and then as you exhale, bring your chest down towards your right leg. Just really gently flexing your foot. If you can touch your foot, you can pull the toes back towards you. If you can't, just have your hand on your shin. Release it. Inhale, and then exhale as you stretch again. So again, this is doing a little bit of lower back, a little bit through the glutes and the ITB. Then we're gonna change sides. So tuck your right foot against your left leg this time. Come up so your spine's nice and erect and you're on your sit bones. Nice and tall, inhale and then exhale as you draw your chest towards your left leg. And again, you can either hold the leg on the shin. If you can reach your toe, you can pull the toe back towards you. If your knee's up high, remember to have your foot down towards the left ankle or support it with a, a cushion. And then we're gonna take both feet out in front, nice and erect through our spine on our sit bones. Inhale, then exhale. We're gonna bring both of our hands forward, bring our chest towards our, our upper legs. Again, if you can grab your feet, you can pull them back pull your toes back towards you and you'll get a little bit more of an intense stretch through your hamstrings and your calves and your Achilles. Good. And then we'll take our left leg over our right leg. 
bring our spine up nice and tall. Put your right hand on your left knee and your left hand behind you. And I want you to draw that left knee towards the right side, but look over your left shoulder. So you're coming into a bit of a twist here. Ease that off and then go one more time. And then swap your legs over. So now you've got your left leg out in front, bring your right leg over the top, bending that knee, left hand on the right knee, right hand behind you, and bring the knee towards the left side, looking over your right shoulder, so you're getting that nice twist. Just taking a few breaths here. Each time you inhale, just release it. Good. And then bringing your soles of your feet together, again, up nice and tall through your spine and just gently using your elbows to push gently against your knees. So getting a nice stretch through that inner groin area. Good. And then legs back out in front, just going forward and back a couple of times, just rinsing out our spine after all that twisting that we did. Good. And we'll come up onto our feet opening out through our chest. Good. We might do a quick stretch through our quads. So you might want to hold on to something, the wall or a chair, or you might want to challenge yourself with some balancing. Stretching through the front of your leg and then the other side. Good. Give your legs a shake. And then we'll do a couple of forward folds. So inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, folding forward. If you want, you can support your lower back. As you fold forward, you can run your hands down your legs. And same when you come up, you can run them up your legs. So it just gives you a bit more support on your lower back. And then we're going to go down in a forward fold and stay there for a couple of breaths. We're going to fold our arms, let our head hang heavy and our chest head hang heavy and moving our elbows in a figure of eight. Our legs are nice and wide. So feeling that nice deep stretch. Okay, coming up, 